It's time for baseball on a Friday night on the south side of Chicago. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Boston Red Sox and the Chicago White Sox. Chicago find themselves on a five-game skid. They'll try to get back on track next. Carlos Radon is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Digging in, Mookie Betts. And we are set for baseball here this evening. First pitch on its way. Underway in the second of four here this weekend as the game's first pitch is taken for ball one. And guys, you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. They come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five game slide. Yeah, I get it, Matty. The team's on a moderate losing streak right now. Can't be happy with the way they played, but they have to find a way. To relax a little bit everybody goes through these little stretches these little valleys throughout the course of a long season this team should right itself and it needs to start today here we go guys come on hey. here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now boy he juked him out of his shoes with that changeup. stood almost no chance of doing anything with it but it probably looked good coming in The one two is swung on and missed strike three. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Who do you have your eye on Dan. Well you have to be really impressed with what J.D. Martinez does for this offense. He's been a catalyst for this team in the last 10 games and in so many different ways. But looking at the one number I'm looking at a 450 on base percentage when you have that and you have the type of abilities that he has you're awfully dangerous. Here's the second baseman now Dustin Pedroia. He went deep in the contest last night. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a knee high fastball. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Hey, D. Rowe, you better be up there ready to swing with Ricky Holiday behind the plate, particularly on that high pitch. Yeah, and I'm, I don't like that, Dan. As an offensive player, that's the one pitch that you almost can't get to with a power guy on the mound. I'm okay with you giving a little bit on the corners, but you start giving north, it makes it super tough on the hitters. The 1 1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. One out, nobody on. Try to hold back but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing and there are two away now. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And I'm sure that one stings a little bit. The best revenge he can get for his pain is to find a way to come around to score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, J.D. Martinez. He's, of course, a long ball threat, currently third in the American League in that category. Oh, 
And he'll step off and fire to the bag. And the runner back. Here comes the first pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. The 1 0 home is taken for ball two. Looked like that swing was in slow motion two and one. He came out of his shoes on that one boys. I know he swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here but if he gets that pitch again and catches it a grain low we got action. Gets the sign here comes the two one. Count even at two and two. Here now the 2 2. And another foul ball. Bogarts leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Now he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And this one is gone. A home run. A two run blast to straight away right field home run number thirty nine on the season for him and that gives the Red Sox a two to nothing lead. I know I get big money for my expert analysis but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone over the heart of the plate this guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shocker. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. And he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. The 1 0. Misses for the second ball. Outside three and oh now now with the base is empty. I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's three and oh he's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Bases are empty here with two men out. <laughs> and he'll just float a change in here now for a strike. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation two outs. 3 0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Ball. There's ball Thanks, four. Man. Wow, you know he's not happy with that call. When it crossed the plate, it sure looked like a strike to me. Seemed to catch a ton of the plate. That's a tough way to give up a walk, but he's got to put it behind him now. Next up for the Red Sox Christian Vasquez and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Ready to deliver here's the first pitch liner towards second but this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Well, the Red Sox strike for two on the two run homer. Bottom of the first coming up it's now two nothing Boston. Chris Sale gets the ball for the Red Sox in this one. Dan Plezak what's the word on him. Hey in this day and age where we're all into numbers and statistics look at this whip. 
1.10 or less. He has a sub 1.1. That's not an easy thing to do, especially in today's game where we see teams scoring a lot of runs. He doesn't walk very many guys, and he doesn't give up that many hits either. This is a real good pitcher and should be fun to watch pitch in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They've been pretty much unstoppable the last couple of weeks or so. Winners of nine straight ball games. Matty, you have a chance to win nine ball games in a row. All you're thinking about. First off, everything's going right. All facets of the game are coming together. Team is playing exceptionally well right now. I mean, your eyes on on that double digits. There's very few teams that rattle off a double digit win streak throughout the course of the year. They have that opportunity. A moment here from the south side to take a look at the Pale Hose starting lineup in this one. Dero, what's your take as they look to end their losing streak? This is not even a stat you probably would have even looked at 10 years ago. The fact that this team's last in walks in today's game bodes a lot of trouble. They will swing at the rosin bag. Do not expect this pitcher to come over the heart of the plate in any meaningful position because he knows he's going to get a lot of swing and miss. Ball one. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Here's the one one. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. The 2 1. Swing and a ball line softly down the right field line. Foul. Here now the 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Jose Abreu waits on deck. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Here's a pop up now, and he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Batting third, third baseman, Jose Abreu. Ready now for the White Sox, Jose Abreu, as we run to the numbers to see the splits between July and August. Hale gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. And here's a ball hit in the air. Bats on the run. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the White Sox. They trail things here 2 to nothing. Coming to the plate now, JT Real Muto. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Popped him up. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Missed with a slider. This one softly hit and fouled off to the left, and that moves the count to one and two now. Quick. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Garcia over to his left, one away. Okay, guys, here's how the Southsiders are lining up on D today. And let's focus our attention on first baseman Jose Abreu. We know the bat plays, the ability to drive the ball out opposite field, no problem. But I don't think people realize how soft this guy's hands are at first base, constantly bailing his other infielders out. 
Riding in for Boston, Jackie Bradley Jr. And he's just hoping for something to go his way in this one. And as you can see, it's not been the case of late. Now here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. That's wide, 2 and 0. Oh. Down low, and the plot thickens here, 3 and 0. Oh. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. The 3-0 pitch. Taken strike one on the inside corner. One out, nobody on. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Hard hit towards center. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Rafael Devers. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. Previously against Carlos Radon, he's one for three. First offering on its way. Drill down the line. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. Two out, nobody on. And a good idea to hold off there as it goes to two and two now on the Boston third baseman. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. The 2 2. Grounded up the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. Mookie Betts would be next. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Digging in for his second at bat, Mookie Betts looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Let's go, White Sox. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. That pitch up in the zone called the strike, and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit, though, that fastball that's high in the zone. Now a snap move over to first. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And that one just missed outside. Give me a break now. Come on. The 
one one home it's taken for strike two. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Red Sox lead one as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Up next for Chicago, Wellington Castillo. Only one hit for him in his last four ball games. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball that he's way out in front of, a swing and a miss. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Hey, from a hitter's perspective, I don't mind that take right there. I know it's in the zone, but this is a hitter's yard. You want something bell high that you can get loose on. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. So here's how the bow stops are positioning themselves defensively. And let's focus on the guy behind the dish tonight, Christian Vasquez. Lock in on this guy. Some say he looks like a young Pudge Rodriguez in his prime. The bat's coming, but the way he massages this pitching staff, it should be your focus. So coming to the plate, Nicky Delmonico, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Delmonico. Is 6 2 and bats left but throws right handed. He was taken in the sixth round back in 2011. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level. And he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. In the dirt, it's 3 0 oh now. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. He was hitless in the shutout last night. First offering on its way. Line to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Stepping in now, Yomer Sanchez rounded down the third baseline. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Oh, one, here's the pitch. That's a ball. One and one. Uh, one and one. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch fouled off.
Here now the 2-2. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The 2-2 one more time. Fouled away. Delmonico at second. Anderson at first. One gone. Pitch is popped up. Real Muto has room in foul territory. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Digging in the switch hitter, Leury Garcia, and he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. Sale sets. First pitch on its way. Lays off 1 0. You got to love that as a hitter right there. It doesn't happen much, but when it does, you have to find a way to take advantage of the count. Now the 1 0. Is fastball taken high for a ball? Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Now the 2 0 is looked at for the first strike. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he let that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. The 2 1 home doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. 3 and 1 here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Full count now, three and two. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. He could get the early hook if he can't be a little bit more precise here. That's walk number two of the inning, and we're only in the second. So stepping in, Tyler Saladino, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball just a bit up. Home. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. Foul. The one two. Sent on the ground out to second. For one to first, and the White Sox come up with nothing as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian with you as former AL MVP Dustin Pedroia settles in to get the inning started. Now the pitch. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. Now the 1-0. And this is hit hard to the right side. But foul. 
1 1. Sent on the ground out to second. Right to Sanchez. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Here's Xander Bogarts now. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball down near the shoe tops. The 1 0. Is laid off for ball two. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Bases are empty, one man out. He's fallen behind now, three and one. J.D. Martinez is on deck. The three-one and a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Now batting, designated hitter. Riding in once again, J.D. Martinez. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. Bogarts, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Now a snap throw to first and a dive but he's back in. And another snap throw to the bag a dive but he's back. And they pitch out here but nothing's going on. on the way three and oh now a lot of times you'll see the take sign after five straight balls to start the inning but with the middle of the order up at the plate here I wouldn't be surprised if he's turned loose just has to be the right pitch to hack at ready with the three and oh real fastballs in for a strike that's called getting your A swing off right there, and I don't blame him one bit after his first at bat. You remember, he went bridge his first at bat. Set, here's the 3 1. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Now batting left fielder ready for another chance Andrew Benintendi he drew a walk his first time up. Ready to deliver here's the first pitch. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. Hit on the ground out for short. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One left for the Red Sox, but they hold a 2 0 lead. Ready now. 
now, Jacob May, as we move on and to the bottom of inning number up. three. Center fielder, Jacob May. First pitch of the at bat. A changeup over the inside corner. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Lifted in the air to center. Bradley is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Right fielder, Omar. Narvaez. Now at the plate, Omar Narvaez. First delivery to him on the way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. And quickly, there are two away. Digging in, Jose Abreu. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Sale has his target. Here's the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball and a strike now to Jose Abreu. A ball and two strikes. The one two. Misses ball two. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And Mookie will make the play, and that retires the side. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. The show is back on the south side after this. Now at the play, Christian Vasquez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Christian Here's the first pitch to him. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Vasquez stands 5-9 as you see him in the right-handed box. He was a ninth round pick during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. Into the box, JT Real Muto. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Hit high and deep out to left. Garcia going back at the track. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Home run number five on the year as the Red Sox open it up even further. It's now 4 0. How about it? 
Here's Jackie Bradley now. Jackie Bradley. As he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. Bradley or JBJ as the initials read. He was selected in the first round back in 2011. Yeah he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level but you know what they didn't miss with this pick either you go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has nice pick into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch ground ball right into the ship on the first so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out good time now to check out the White Sox road to the show report as you see a pair of guys in the upper levels that have been making waves as of late. Stepping up to the plate, Rafael Devers reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hot shot down the line. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. And he'll reach second now with one away. That was some great situational hitting there after surveying the field to see what the defense was giving him. The third baseman was well off the line and he had no chance to make a play as he sprays it down the left field line for a two bagger. Here's Mookie Betts. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The one oh is up and in, but called a strike. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Devers, a runner at second with one away. <laughs> On the ground to third. And there's out number two. Now batting number 15. Digging in once again, Dustin Pedroia. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a little self preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 4 0 Boston. Digging in to try it again. Wellington Castillo was a strikeout victim in his first try. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Now here's the pitch. Gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0 and 2. So far in this game he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah and he might strike out for a second time right here. The 0 2 delivery. Sliced hard but foul. The next 0 2. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of the series.
Next up is the sneaky pop of Nicky Delmonico as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now the 1 0 -oh is low and outside for a ball. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him this first time up, and now they're nibbling again. Three and oh now. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And he won't even have to take the bat off. It's Moorings, a four pitch walk here. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. A base hit in his first trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Good idea with the change, but it's two and one. The intent with that change up away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. The two one home. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. Sale with a little do it yourself play, and there are two down. The batter, number five. Standing in, Gilmer Sanchez. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Sale sets. First pitch on the way. And that's inside for a ball. 1 0. Delmonico is off of first with two away. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And that'll get over the wall, so the runner will have to hold up at third. Off the bat, it looked like that might bring their first run of the game across. But those hopes ended quickly when it hopped over the wall. Everyone gets two bases on a ground rule double, so the runner from first is forced to stay at third, and the next guy is going to have to be the one to put them on the board. Standing in now, Leoy Garcia lifted in the air to center. Bradley is there. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. White Sox strand a couple. They trail here four to nothing. Here's Xander Bogarts now. It was a walk in his last trip. Xander Bogarts. First pitch coming. Here it is. Nope. Here's a All slider one. to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. The pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be, so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game. Hey. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. One one hit the other way out toward right field. Narvaez coasts under it and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Up next for the Red Sox, the designated hitter, JD. Here's JD Martinez. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner.
four runs four hits and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Here's one that misses high it's one and one. One and two. The count is one and two. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Here now the two two. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Oh, and it falls as he can't make the play. He hit the corner and tries for third. The relay throw, and he is in there. Well, in his defense, he did have to go a long way to get there, but that's not the problem. The problem is, once he arrives, he doesn't catch the dang ball. He knows as well as anybody that he should have brought that one in, and it's going to cost him an error. We'll see if the pitcher can pick him up. Here comes the White Sox skipper out toward the mound, and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the White Sox, number 23, Robbie Ross. left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in grounder down the line at third 0 for 1 for him here in this one nope. off the plate one ball one strike a great take on that slider away right there but I'm thinking in that situation that pitcher's got to execute a little bit better. That was almost a non competitive pitch being outside. You could almost have let that one go right out of his hand down the first baseline. Got him swinging chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. In now, Christian Vasquez, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 1 0 is taken strike one. Come on, so 1 1 is looked at for ball number two. And some stirring now in the White Sox bullpen as it looks like a right hander's up and throwing. Now the 2 1 pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. The Red Sox leave one, but they hold a 4 to nothing lead. And here's Tyler Saladino. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. 
Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. First pitch of the at bat. Ball. And that one stayed up a little high. Hit out towards second. And Pedroia will stretch, but it's into center field for a base hit. So a leadoff base hit out of the ninth spot, and that sets the top of the order up nicely here to start the inning. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That lawn dart felt so good. Oh, Dero, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup now and stepping in, Jacob May. He flew out in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. A change up right on the outside corner for a strike. Little guessing game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change, he had to be sitting off speed right there. Off the plate at 94, 1 and 2. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0 2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. The 1 2 locks him up for strike three. And you see it right there on your screen. Strikeout number 200 for him on the year, as he has been very difficult to solve this season. Digging in once again, Omar Narvaez. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And he lays off there 1 and 0. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Pulled high in the air out to right field. On the move is Betts. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Ready for another chance. Jose Abreu. No hits to this point. Abreu. Sale sets. Here comes the first pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. And this catches the outside corner, strike one. You know, they finally get the leadoff runner on. It, it would be sad to watch him waste this opportunity. Somebody's got to come through with a base hit. From the belt, kicks and deals. High in the air out to center field. There to pull it in is Bradley. He does, and that'll end the inning. White Sox leave one. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Ready once again, JT Real Muto. He'll lead it off for the Red Sox here in their half of the sixth. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Looks like he was trying to bust him inside, and he might have held on to it just a little bit too long. Just like that, the leadoff man is aboard.
Here's Jackie Bradley now. He swings and rounds it to short. There's one. On to first. Oh, not in it. time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Now batting. Third base. Raphael. Raphael Devers the next to bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. I like that he used the curveball to get ahead there. That's a tough pitch to hit in this lefty lefty matchup. So if you can get it over the plate on the first pitch, it can be pretty effective. The 0 and 1 delivery. And it's fouled away. Ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. And he struck him out. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. Here's Mookie Betts. The first pitch is hit pretty well out to right. Narvaez ranging back. Gone! Two runs on the board after the home run by Mookie Betts. Number 28 on the season. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Wow, there's a case of a ball up in the zone. Not the easiest pitch in the world to get underneath and drive it out of the ballpark. Good piece of hitting right there. Ball up in the zone. He didn't miss it. He destroyed it. Now batting number 15, second baseman. Dustin Here's the second Pedroia. baseman now, Dustin Pedroia, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Not close. It's 2 and 0. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Soft liner to the right side and no problem over there at first as he flags this one down to end the inning. So two runs on one hit and the one hit was a big one the home run to the bottom of the sixth we go four five and six coming up the Red Sox are out in front six to nothing. Here's the catcher Wellington Castillo and through five turns at bat they've only mustered a total of three hits not terrible but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well it's getting a little bit too late in this game if this continues like this in today's game with so many dominant bullpen arms you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. He's ready here's the first offering. And a neck high fastball that time. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. Fouled off. Here's the 1 1. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And it's gone! Wellington Castillo has just loved a milestone home run of sorts. It's the 100th of his career. Well, obviously, it's not easy hitting home runs, Matt, especially at this level. 100 home runs is nothing to stop at, so I'm sure he'll be proud of this accomplishment when he gets to really think about it after a game, and you know he'll want that ball to hold on to.
Into the box now, Nicky Delmonico. As the first pitch to him is off, played for a ball 1 0. A couple of walks for him thus far. Fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Stepping in now, Tim Anderson. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees, it's strike one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Takes a knee high fastball. Don't just assume as a hitter right here he won't triple up. He's got you down 0 2, and he might really want to get inside your head if he throws the same pitch again. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. Here's another 0 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. Standing in now, Yomer Sanchez. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 1 0. Hit on the ground to third. Devers gloves it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Sox get one right back here on the solo home run. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up to start the seventh, and this is now a 6-1 ball game. Back here on the south side of Chicago, Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh, but first here's a look at our game summary to this point. Your attention please. Now pitching for the White Sox, number 37. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Xander Bogarts. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one stayed too low, apparently. One and zero pitch on the way, and he watches one miss outside. Two and zero now. The two zero on the way, and oh, that gets him on the mound. And they are able to get the out at first, but more importantly, let's hope he's okay on the mound. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. 
So here's the Boston cleanup hitter J.D. Martinez. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. One out. Nobody on. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. The one, two. Get hard back up the middle. Sanchez is there. And there are two away now. Now batting, left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Digging in to try it again, Andrew Benintendi. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Missed with a slider. Two out, nobody on. Much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. one. Now the one and one pitch. Rip down the line. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. In now, Christian Vasquez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0 home. Hit down the third baseline. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. Back on another here as the runner scores from second. What a frustrating inning from a pitcher standpoint, Dero. You get the first two out of the inning, the next guy doubles, and then you give up a two up base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, and you want to talk about on the complete flip side, firing up an offense. You see your two boys go down, two quick outs. You mix in a gapper right there. Double finds himself on second base, and he's able to come through. Next guy's able to come through with a big two out knock. Into the box now, JT Real Muto. 0 and 1 the count. Vasquez, the runner at first with two gone. Real Muto behind with an 0 and 2 count now. In today's game, if you're not disciplined for striking out, why would you change your approach with two strikes right here? Expect this guy to try and drive the baseball right here. Here it comes, 0-2. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Let's go, White Sox! 0 oh and 2, here it comes. And he looks at a ball, 1 and 2. A runner on first with two away. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball 2.
Hit on the ground is short. Anderson brings it in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. A run on two hits in the inning for Boston. Stretch time here on the south side of Chicago. Boston's out in front, 7-1. Leading off the inning, Leori Garcia. And they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. Behind 0-2 now. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. 0-2 pitch not even close to the zone and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. The 1-2. Gets him looking up around the letters. He's not going to feel good about that at bat, nor should he. You have to want to swing the bat, but he just stood there and looked at four straight pitches. Hopefully, we'll see him get a little bit more aggressive next time. And here's Tyler Saladino. Cue shot here out towards short, and that'll be the second out. Now batting, Gunner Fielder. So the lineup flips over and digging in Jacob May. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. Sail into the windup. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Now, when you've got a six-run lead out there, there's no reason not to go right at, guys. You have to keep attacking the zone. Sail ready with the 2-0. Outside, 3-0 now. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt, he's clearly fighting his mechanics. 3-0 pitch on its way. And this one misses inside a ball he walked in, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Well, when you've been out there as long as he has, you have to expect to lose a little precision in your location. He's up over 90 pitches now, so he might be starting to tire a little bit. Something to keep an eye on. Ready for another shot now. Omar Narvaez, he's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. 0-1's the count. Come on, White Sox! He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. One and two to the White Sox catcher. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. To short. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. A man left for the White Sox. They're down 7-1. to one.
settling in now. Jackie Bradley Jr. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. Jackie Bradley Jr. First pitch coming. Here it is. There's a strike. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D. Rowe, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. I'll straighten him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Still one and two. And that misses two and two. Watch it again. Here now the two two is looked at and the count moves full. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base. This could spell for a huge inning. Here's the payoff pitch. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Now batting, third baseman. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. First pitch on its way. Yeah. Tough slider that just catches the corner for a strike. Bradley on it first. Nobody out. Go, Chicago. Sweet. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, now might be a good time to make a visit to the mound. Your pitcher walks the first batter and allows him to get into scoring position with the wild pitch. Got to settle him down and make sure everything's all right physically. Grounded back up the middle. Anderson picks it up. Throw on to first in time, one away. Ready to take his hacks again, Mookie Betts, as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. To me, getting ahead 0 1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Maddie. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box when I'm sitting 1 0. I am all over the gas or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1 1. When you're down 0 1, your head's on the Anderson scoops it up, and that's the second out. Now batting number 15. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Shut him down now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Come on, White Sox, let's go. 
Oh one count here's the pitch and that one right down Main Street. That's back to back pitches taken for strikes puts himself in a bad spot. Oh and two let's see if he can battle back in this A.B. Here comes the nothing and two pitch and the changeup is way low that time and that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. But in this situation he was able to hold back. That's a nice take. Into the corner and slicing foul. And we're going to have a quick stoppage here as a beach ball has made its way into right field. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Hit high and deep to right center. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. And this thing bounces over the wall, but I don't think it would have mattered if it stayed in the ballpark. Either way, the runner was going to score, and he was going to wind up at second. He drove that ball really nicely. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Hey that's case in point right there. He thought that was going to hollow out his rib and ended up being a strike. Oh and two home now to Bogarts. And that slider is almost in the dirt. Ready to deliver the one and two. Liner towards second. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. The batter, designated hitter, JD. Here's JD Martinez. First delivery to him on the way. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. Two out with the man at first. Two balls and no strikes now to the Red Sox left fielder. You know I think his mechanics are starting to betray him a little bit. He's really lost the strike zone and when that's the case something is usually off at his delivery. The 2 0 too tight with that one three and 0. If I'm managing this hitter right here he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach you know he's got the green light he's one of the best hitters in your lineup here it is the 3 0 is laid off but in there for strike one that's a real good job of going back to back fastballs right there most of the time a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate and they'll just think well this pitcher is going to go back on the outside but when you double up like he did right there it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. The three one 
and this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Looking to minimize the damage here. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Here comes the 1 0. Might have jammed him a little there as this is softly hit and foul off to the left. If I'm on the mound right now, I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. The 1 1 pitch. Nope. And that one stayed up a little high. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Ball three, three and one now and I think he wanted to know where that one was. Christian Vasquez would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Now a little pop up off toward the third base side. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach. A foul ball. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 pitch home. He's at the knees and called strike three. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and two left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Red Sox lead it 9 to 1. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu, now. He leads off there half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here we go. And he takes ball one. And now the second pitch of the inning will be his 100th of the ball game. Sliced hard on the ground. And he'll step on first himself for the out. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you can see, he currently ranks second in the AL in that department. Digging in and looking for more, Wellington Castillo. First offering on its way. And he'll start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. 1 0. Bases are empty, one man out. One and one, the count to Wellington Castillo. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Monaco. Next up is the sneaky pop of Nicky Delmonico as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He went down on strikes last time up. A 
wind up and the 0 1. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He is pounding the zone. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. There you go. And there's a base hit on the line. Boy, that's a crazy at that right there. Takes two pitches, two quality pitches, then gets the third one, and he gets a bullet for a single. I can't tell you how good that feels as a former hitter right there. 0-2, oh, you're pretty much dead to rights, and he comes through with a big knock. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Hey, sometimes you have to look at it like it's not how or how many. Pitching very well into this one into the late innings and his first pitch strike percentage less than 50 percent. He'd like it to be a lot higher than that. He's making it very difficult on himself but he's still getting outs. One and one the count now. Still Monaco leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Fastball here is hit softly to the left side of the infield. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. White Sox leave one. They trail big. It's nine to one. The hustle and bustle of downtown Chi Town. Welcome back to Guaranteed Rate Field and Baseball on the Show. Now, Danny Farquhar enters now in a mop up Number role as he'll try to keep the deficit Jimmy right where it is. Farquhar. Next up for the Red Sox, Christian Vasquez. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. First pitch coming, here it is. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. A one and one count now to Vasquez. Set. Here comes the 1 1. And he lays off for a ball, 2 and 1. The 2 1 home is looked at for ball 3. JT Real Muto is on deck. Set. Here's the 3 1. And oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a cold strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Now the three and two pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. Up next for the Red Sox, first baseman. Coming to the plate now, JT Romuto. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Wait. 
Line drive to left. Garcia is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Here's Jackie Bradley now as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. South side. The 0 1. Ooh, good change up just missed inside. Bases are empty here with two men out. No two. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Nope, two and one. Hey, Red Sox, get out of here. Ball even at two and two. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they still hold a commanding nine to one lead. Tyler Thornburg is on now out of the bullpen as he'll make his 70th appearance so far this year. Tyler Thornburg. Riding in once again, Yomer Sanchez starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball just a bit up. And he falls behind now, 2 0. Come on, Carlos! Lifted in the air to center field. Bradley is there and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for one away and there are the final numbers for the Boston starter and he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Digging in the switch hitter Leury Garcia he was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. And a strike to even the count. 1 and 1. One out, nobody on. Steve and a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now, one and two. The one, two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Again, a one-two. Oh. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Bradley. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. 
So to the plate is the White Sox DH. Tyler Saladino hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball just below the knees. Ball one. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Started that swing a bit too early. Obviously not where he wanted that curveball to end up, but I guess it fooled him enough to get the swing and miss. Two out, nobody on. Outside, two and one. The count now at two and two. The White Sox down to their last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, I don't care who you roll out there against these guys. That's 10 wins in a row for them, so they feel like they can beat anybody in the league right now, and they're making it look awfully easy, too. 9-1 to one is the way this one ends. Boston jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Chris Sale picks up his team-best 14th win in this one. He turns in eight strong innings of work. Carlos Radon takes his 17th loss of the year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com.